Alright guys, what is going on? This is your Aggie Birds NASCAR fan, the Blue Jimmy 40th fan here, and welcome back everyone to another episode of the NASCAR 15 season mode, ladies and gentlemen. And this is episode 23 of 36. Today we are once again here at Michigan International Speedway. This time we are running with Jimmy Johnson's number 48 Lowe's Chevrolet. Now the last time we were here um, at Michigan, um, it, it did not go well. It did not go well by any means um sadly we were we got sadly we i went on i went on the apron and um uh the car got the car the car was ex was loose that day and and unfortunately we unfortunately we we, re we wrecked ourselves and then um unfortunately caution didn't come out so um so that so that was uh so that was fun um hoping for a little bit of a much better run here today um, but as of now, we only have a, uh, we only have a two-point lead right now, um, over Matt Kenseth, because we are right now the current points leader, but, um, I'll be honest with you, like, I don't think, I don't think we're gonna have another great run here today, um, just like the last time, I'll be quite honest with you, it's, I, I, I really, I really don't know, I just, I just don't see, I just don't see myself, uh, doing pretty well here today, um, I am going to have a little bit of a... I do, however, have a little bit of a different strategy on mind uh, this time around. So, instead of me uh, doing, you know, all the fuel, the fuel saving that I've been doing, um, we're actually we're actually going to try and see if we can fight with... We're actually going to try and see if we can pass cars and uh, and see if we can maybe make that... Uh, you know, maybe maybe we could maybe we could try a two-stopper. I, I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens, but... Um, I just hope um, if we do get cautions, they do come out at the right time and all that. So that way, uh, the last pits, so that way, you know, hopefully everything will work itself out by the end of this thing. Uh, but anyways, we're going to have four races left uh, after today. We'll, we will have uh, four races left. Uh, no, actually three races left in the in the regular season. Excuse me. Uh, but anyways... 90% uh, difficulty um, because Michigan is two miles long, which means we will not be having the full 100% AI difficulty for this race. 40 laps here today, two times tire, two times fuel, cautious black flags on, and damage and failures are full as always. But with that said, let's get race number 23 of 36 underway. All right, everybody, here we are once again here at Michigan International Speedway um, for the second time uh, here this season. Uh, qualified 31st. Um, I mean, it was really to be expected. I'll be once again honest with you. So uh, Matt Kenseth, uh, he starts in 13th. And uh, Dale Earnhardt Jr., another one of the, um, the championship contenders that we're dealing with right now. He starts up towards the front. But anyways, Jeff Gordon starts on the pole. Tony Stewart will start in second. Greg Buffel third. And Carl Edwards will start from the fourth position. Um, once again, I feel like turns three and four are going to once again be the trouble spot. Um, so we are going to have to probably manage our throttle just a little bit better. Um, especially, in, especially in the middle of three and four. Um, but I'm sure as this race goes on, we're gonna, we're gonna keep adjusting on it, hopefully, to make it better. Um, but anyways, um, the green flag is in the air, and we are underway for the second time from Michigan this season, race number 23 of 36. actually gave me a caution wow wow it actually gave me a caution flag oh my goodness i hate this ai here so 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 freaking much so much um yeah. 
I really have got nothing good to say. Literally nothing good to say. So this, uh, I can already tell this race is uh, going to be dog shit for me. So. sucks once again we're once again we're back huh once again we're, we're back to the old days again of me literally causing all the caution flags and once again and then once again the game being glit glitchy as always so or or, or messed up or, or whatever it is but yeah Okay, well, uh, awesome. So, definitely our goal now is to try to keep this car in one piece. Anyways, let's hope, uh, let's hope we have a much better run here this time. Why are you why are you getting tight on me? Oh my god. Oh my gosh, this car just it's just on edge. Now all of a sudden hold on. We'll see, we'll see. Is it gonna get tight and is it gonna get tight? No, it's a no, it turns a little bit better, but on the restart it just it got really tight for some reason. And then when I'm in three and four, the, it it's it's on edge. It like it wants it just wants to just snap. I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm gonna take this one at a time. I am not going to. I am gonna take this one car at a time. I do not want to put myself in a situation where I'm gonna wreck myself again. Now all of a sudden, all these people are slowing up for no reason. Alright, Coley, you did that to yourself. Oh, you did you did that to yourself. Oh my Oh my gosh. Made a daring move there. Somehow made it stick, but it's again gonna have to be a little more, uh, a little more soft with the throttle again, because it's because I could tell the thing it, it just it just wants to go around in three and four. But we're picking them off. Slowly but surely, you know, we're, we're picking them off.
about to crack the top 20 here. I'm trying to see if we can get around Reagan. There we go. All right. So now we're up into the top 20. And right now working on Kevin Harvick now for 19th. Remember, Harvick, he, um, he had a strong start to the... He had a strong start to the season, but all of a sudden over the past few races, it's, he's fallen, I think, all the way to 12th in the standings, I believe. So... So it's not been it's not been a good summer, and wow, did they get such a run with the draft there? Dylan got lo Dylan got loose. Harvick checked up. Gonna take advantage of both of them. But yeah, it's looking like um, I'm better in the turns, but I'm getting beat on the straightaway. I wouldn't necessarily say it's a bad thing, though, as long as you're within the sights, I guess, of other cars. And you know, look at how look at how fast we're going. Two fifteen miles an at two fifteen miles an hour. If only we had these speeds again. This is this is why I keep advocating bring back the twenty fourteen package. As much as. Uh, as much as how much uh, Jimmy Johnson was not that good with the with the 2014 package with the high downforce, but but it provide it. I gotta tell you, it provided literally the best racing with this uh, with this Gen 6 car, and and I, and I really do hope that with the with the next gen coming out next year, that um that hopefully we can get hopefully we can get some of that some of that some of that racing back because it's 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 been tough you know it, it's been tough you know especially with the racing product we've had you know to deal with over this past few seasons Yeah, right now I'm I'm pretty much the city duck right now because everybody else is they're all dra they're all drafting off of each other and and I'm barely hanging on trying to barely trying to stay within within Bobby Labonte's reach. Um, probably on the next stop, I think I actually might go down on the grill tape a little bit because uh, it's not been good. Well, whenever I was close, whenever I was close to closer to Labani and and trying to trying to get a draft off of him, uh, the car actually kept heating up quite a bit. So we're um so I'm gonna try and see if we can uh, try to limit that. Hope maybe 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 yeah, like I said, maybe the growth tape change would probably help that help that out just a little bit. Anyways, underneath Bobby Labonte now for 16th. Oh, is he going to get a run, though, off of the corner? Oh, baby. Oh, God. Drivers are coming to pit road. Okay.
Oh, Geyer left the door open. I'm going to take advantage of it. Oh, Dylan got a little bit loose. Trying to slide up in front of Dylan. Oh, barely. Barely slide. Barely pulled off the slide job. Oh, crap. Oh, okay. Well, a lot of guys are pinning. Okay. Uh, well, it looks to be me and Brad Kozlowski look to be the only ones that are staying out on the track, so... That was, uh, Matt Kenseth, uh, who was second of the points. That was him coming down pit road. And I believe we went about 17, maybe 17, 18 laps on fuel or something like that. We'll see. Brad Kozlowski's going to come in now for his stop. Um, okay, so, um... Alright, so I think maybe we can go to 21, probably. I mean, the car, feel, the car feels fine, I'll be honest with you. I've, I've gotten better at managing the throttle a little bit. So, I I don't think we're, I don't think we're going to make a wedge change. I think all we're going to do is probably take some grill tape out. To hopefully help cool it a little bit, but, but yeah, lap 20, I'm uh, going to be coming to halfway this time by. Um, I believe this time by we will have to pit though. Yeah, we are going to have to pit. So anyways, let's have a clean entry. Have a good entry, and there we go. All right. Uh, no, no repairs. Um, gonna go down on the grill tape just a little bit. Um, I think we're, I think we're gonna be good. I think, I think we're fine. But, and I think, and I actually think we do have the fuel to make it to the end as well. Because I think we came in. Um, like lap, I think it was like lap three or lap four or something when the race started, and it was like sixteen laps or something. I'm, I I may have to save a little bit, but I don't know. We'll we'll see. But anyway, I think that's the leader right there. Yep, that's the leader right there. Where's Kenseth? There's Kenseth right there. And where are we going to cycle out? And looking like we are going to cycle out right behind Austin, uh, Ty Dillon. So we will be in 17th. Especially going to have to be careful. Especially with new tires on this thing. Probably what I should do is probably start the process of saving as well. Yeah. Yeah, we should definitely start that. Start that. But I don't want... Um, I mean, I'm going to have to get a... I'm going to have to get a little bit more separation, though. Before I really, really start committing to saving fuel, because I think I think we can make it to the end. I think we can make it. I I, I have that confidence. I think we can. I think we can definitely make it.
mean, just as long as I save in the right in the right spots. I think, I think we may have, we may potentially have a shot at this. They're all going, they're all going, right, 50, right, 15 laps to go, and, and these guys, I can tell, they are not saving, they are not saving at all, so, oh, snap, I think I left the door open. Hit the wall. Okay. We're good. Um, we're actually... We're maintaining the gap around Tony Stewart right now. About... About eight seconds. So... So, I mean, as long as we... As long as we keep saving and... And doing what we've been doing, I think... I think we can... I think... I think we can do it. I will say though this race has definitely gone a lot better than than uh than what it was um when we went here in June or not not in June but uh for race number fifteen. Ow okay, well that yeah that I was just that was just me not paying attention there, but yeah. But yes, this race has uh this race has gotten a lot better than um than the last time we were here, so the last, the last time we were here we we struggled with the handling pretty much the whole the whole time and and um well remember the caution the caution didn't come out so so that so that that honestly didn't didn't help me but and i believe we ended up 39th in that race or so, something like that but Yeah, it would be nice if we can, uh, we can, if we can get some revenge here today. We're actually going to be coming to 10 laps to go this time, going to be coming to 10 to go this time by. So far, a lot of drivers have already begun to make their final, their final pit stops. Barely scraped it. Yeah, Tony Stewart still stays on the track. I'm guessing those guys who 
probably came in early. They're probably they're probably banking on the fact there isn't going to be a yellow, and the fact that also we're probably going to run out of fuel. Yeah, Tony still stays on the track. Come on. <sighs> Alright, well now I have a lot of clear track in front of me and behind me. So... So I have room to, to save as much as I can. Anyway, Tony Stewart finally going to come down pit road, and Kyle Busch, I think, might be the only one who's staying on the track. So that puts us up now to second, as our fuel thing is now in the orange. Obviously, we're now going to... Obviously, now, since we're coming to the final few laps here, it's look, I think we're probably going to be in massive fuel saving now. Kyle Busch now to pit road. Oh, yellow flag. Oh, no. Oh, what happened? Oh, Dylan. Oh, no. Greg Biffle, Bobby Labonte involved. Oh no! Yeah, now we're gonna. Yeah, now we have to pit. There was no way we were gonna. We were gonna make it on. There was no way we were gonna make it on fuel. And I believe we might be the only car in the lead lap. I'm not entirely sure. Are there drivers behind me pitting. I don't. I don't think so. I, uh, it's, it sounds like they are. But, yeah, drivers behind me are pitting, so. Oh, man. Oh, this changes everything. Oh, this so changes everything. Okay, then. I don't know how many drivers are going to be on the lead lap, but. We'll see. Oh, looks like Vic I think, think Vickers got out ahead of me. Um, okay, uh, so it looks like we're going to restart sixth, and a lot of dri a lot of drivers uh, got, the wow, a lot of drivers got the wave around. All right, so, well, this is, uh, this is going to be an interesting final few laps here. Well, actually, yeah, we got guys who stayed out on the track, and, and um, we're the first one with four tires. I believe Brian Vickers might be the first one who only might have taken two. But anyway, two laps to go here in Michigan. Or three laps to go. Bush got Bush and them both got a little bit loose there. Up to up to fourth, going for third on Truex. Two laps to go here in Michigan. Clear, clear to him. Now up to Je up to Tony Stewart and Jeff Gordon. 
They have the front two spots. Gonna try and see if we can if we can pass both of them here in the final two laps. Off of turn number four. I'm gonna need I'm gonna need some help here to try to see if I can get around them. But anyway, white flag in the air. Final lap here at Michigan. Tony Stewart in the lead. Jeff Gordon second. I'm running in third. Off for turn number two, down the back straightway for the final time. I'm going to have one final shot to try and see if we can make one last effort. To the bottom of the track I go. Unfortunately, could not make anything work. Off for turn number four, Tony Stewart is going to win the Pure Michigan 400 here at Michigan International Speedway. Jeff Gordon will finish in second, and I will be finishing in third. You know what? I will take that. I am happy with a third place finish. Oh man, I am so happy with a third place finish here today. Especially for the fact that most of the championship guys that I'm fighting for, they finish further back in the pack. I am more than satisfied with a third place run here today. Oh man. Ah. Uh. I tried to I tried to make something happen there those last two. Uh, I was at that point I was I was perfectly content with where I was running. But anyways, Tony Stewart wins here in Michigan. Jeff Gordon second. We finish in third. AJ McGregor fourth. Martin Truex Jr. finishes fifth. Brian Vicker sixth. Kyle Busch seventh. Casey Kane eighth. Austin Dillon ninth. And Regan Smith rounds out the top ten. Uh, positions 11 through, tw uh, let's see, Tre Trevor Baines at the fastest lap of the race with a 35.92. Not too, not too shabby, not too shabby, Trevor, Trevor. Um, uh, but anyways, uh, Chase Elliott 19th and Joey Logano rounds out the top 20. Uh, Danica Patrick 23rd, Kyle Larson 24th, uh, Eric Almarola 27th, and David Gillard rounds out the top 30. Um... Greg Biffle, 33rd. Denny Hamlin, 34th. Matt Kenseth, trapped a lap. He was he was trapped a lap down. He actually he actually struggled for the majority of this race. He was mainly in the just outside the top ten, but but yeah, that caution, that caution proved to be the deciding factor. He ends up 35th, one lap down. Kevin Harvick, 36th. Dale Jr., 37th. Brad Kozlowski, 38th. Clint Boyer, 39th. And Carl Edwards. In 40th, Kurt Busch, 40, 41st, Ryan Newman, 42nd, and Ryan Blaney, surprisingly, Ryan Blaney is the one who finishes in last. Well, that certainly helped out. Uh, that certainly helped out in the in the points race is, uh, is concerned. Uh, we now have a 35-point lead over Matt Kenseth, who is now in, uh, who's, who still is still rising second. Uh, Tony Stewart, he ended up gaining a lot of points uh, here, to, valuable points here today. He ended up scoring his third win of the season. Uh, and now he's only two points behind Matt Kenseth right now in the third spot. Uh, Daryl Dark Jr. is right now in fourth. And Greg Biffle is right now, has now uh, jumped back up to fifth in the standings. So, um, so anyways, um, yeah, that was, a, that was, a, that was a pretty interesting race. I'm not, I'm not going to lie to you. I act. It was a lot. That race was so much better than 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 when we went uh, for race number fifteen of the season. Uh, for like like I said, this time the cautions actually actually did come out. The cautions actually did fly. So so in a way, it actually kind of helped me. So so I actually applaud you. I actually applaud you, um, you Tennics for that. I, re I really do. So anyways, uh, we have three races left before we move on into the chase. So that means, uh, you guys are gonna get another episode tomorrow, and then next week you will get another, you will get another two episodes, and then for the whole month of July, Thursdays, Thursdays and Fridays at, at, at its usual time, Thursdays and Fridays at its usual time, will be the chase for the championship. Yes. I'm expecting this Let's Play is going to end sometime in the middle of July, and I'm actually going to be working really hard to get that finished um, because I do have some important stuff coming up. I'm not going to disclose any information on that, but I do have some 
very important stuff um, over this summer coming over coming up that's outside of YouTube. Um, so so I'm gonna be so like I said, I'm gonna be working hard um, pretty much every single day. I mean, I mean, I literally have nothing better to do right now than to make these, you know, than to make these videos, you know. Also work on also work on some stuff with the channel going forward, you know. Work on new video ideas, and you know, there's there's there's, there's a lot. It's it, it's it's a lot, but I got it. But I'm gonna tell you, it, it it's all gonna pay off, and it's all gonna pay off in the end. Um, but yeah, so yeah, so got some very important stuff in July. Um, that's outside of YouTube. Um, that I have to deal with. Um, which is hence why I'm I'm starting to begin the process of grinding on this uh, on this let's play you may not see that right now you may not see that right now because of the upload schedule that i have um but but trust me i'm working really hard to get this uh to get this uh let's play uh finished for you guys so we can move on to uh so we can actually move on to the next game uh um we're gonna pretty soon we're gonna be hooking up uh, the we're gonna be hooking up the wii and uh we're gonna be playing some nascar thunder 2003 2005 Chase for the Cup, and maybe even some Dirt to Daytona. I don't know. We'll see what happens. With that said, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of the NASCAR 15 Season Mode. Tune in tomorrow for Bristol. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Join the Blue Jew Revolution today, and I will see you all on the next video. Remember, stay safe, wear the mask, and as always, stay humble and kind, and be sure to get the vaccine. Well